Hi, Janice. It's Leslie. Look at me with glasses. You like? I had to um, get it because I try to get my driver's license online and the only way to do that is to take an eye test and they were like, oh, you need glasses. So, of course, I got the classiest. I look pretty sexy smart, eh? Okay, anyway, <laughs> you're probably rolling your eyes at me. Today is October 7th, 2013. It's October 8th, 2013 for you in Korea. And our Bible reading for today is Psalm 96. It's a whole chapter. One second. Um, anyway, I'm in Dallas right now on a business trip. Had to come for the mill fair. It's going okay so far. Actually, I think it went pretty well. Um, okay, so let me start. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all your families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established, it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness that is the word of the lord amen our daily reading the title is public praise i love the youtube video of people in a food court of a mall who in the midst of their ordinary lives were suddenly interrupted by someone who stood up and boldly began singing the hallelujah chorus to the surprise of everyone, another person got up and joined the chorus, and then another and another. Soon, the whole food court was resounding with the ce celebrative harmonies of Handel's masterpiece. A local opera company had planted their singers in strategic places so that they could joyfully interject the glory of God into the everyday lives of lunching shoppers. Every time I watch that video, it moves me to tears. It reminds me that bringing the glory of God into the ordinary situations of our world through the beautiful harmonies of Christ-likeness exactly what we are called to do. Think of intentionally inter interjecting God's grace into a situation where some undeserving soul needs a second chance, of sharing the love of Christ with someone who is needy, of being the hands of Jesus that lifts up a weary friend or of bringing peace to a confusing and chaotic situation. As the psalmist reminds us, we have the high and holy privilege of declaring his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples, Psalm 96, three. Thank you, Lord, for filling us with the capacity to take your public, your glory public through the way we act and react towards others. 
Give us the grace to interject the surprising beauty of your wonderful ways into each encounter. Surprise your world with the wonders of Christ shining through you. Amen. I love you. I miss you. I hope you have another wonderful day. <laughs> 언니, 사랑해 해봐. 사랑해. I love you, Janice.